So it's Anderlecht then, all in white, defending the goal to our right to get us away in the second leg of this Fairs Cup final. Remember, Arsenal 3-1 down after the first leg. George Graham to Peter Storey. Arsenal hunting for goals tonight. Charlie George. Tremendous backing from this Highbury crowd for Arsenal. Here's Radford. And McNabb. Perhaps to lift one. Or perhaps Kelly there. Quite easily cut out again by Anderlecht. That's Powell's the number 11. To Nordahl, son of the great Gunnar Nordahl. But McClintock now for Arsenal. And back to Bob Wilson. Arsenal will have a very impressive uh, aggregate at home in Fairs Cup ties. 17 goals scored and only one conceded. And that's the sort of form that they'll desperately want to take into this final. Arsenal have not won anything in a major competition since 1953. Mulder there, really upended by uh, Samuels and a free kick to Anderlecht, who finished fourth in the Belgian league this last season. And by Anderlecht's season, uh, standards, that isn't a particularly good season. Paus then, the number 11, a man with 40 caps for Belgium with the free kick for Anderlecht. Bends his free kicks, and McClintock right back there. To George Graham. Charlie George to Bob McNabb. And now to Storey. And although Arsenal have got to go looking for these goals, they really must remain secure at the back. One goal to Anderlecht with away goals counting double in the event of the tie being level on aggregate at the end of 90 minutes. One goal to Anderlecht really would sink Arsenal now. Samuels, Kelly, pitch very heavy indeed. And now Graham. And put away by Highlands, the number two for Anderlecht. McNabb, quite easily cut out by Powers. Forward to De Vrindt. And McClintock back to Wilson. Moves from the big and a left contingent here. It's McNabb again to Kelly. To his skipper McClintock. And Samuels. Armstrong desperate for the ball on the right. Story. Story needed to pull that one a good deal higher than that to have any hope of finding Radford. Now Paul Van Himst. And Nordahl had gone through and McGlintock is covering. McNabb. George in fact letting that go and Radford there and Graham is making ground down the left. And it's Highlands who finally puts it away for a throw to Arsenal. McNabb going in very bravely indeed McNabb and the whistle has gone and a free kick given to Arsenal Simpson looks as though he's going to be the one uh, to go up there and curl it in to that uh, crowded Anderlecht penalty area Radford going in Trafford away Samuels back in again, Kalunda in trouble, and Trapanier is then to punch it away for a corner to Arsenal. We should really get this Highbury crowd, almost a capacity crowd now behind the red shirts of Arsenal. George Armstrong with it, Radford on the goal line, McClintock going in, Graham missing his kick, and Paul Van Himps to get it away. Not very far. McClintock right there still, Kelly right in, Armstrong putting it in, and finally belted out of that and a left defence as far as story. Charlie George. Kelly. George again. A good ball here to Armstrong. Radford calling for one and Radford go for this one and Graham as well. Down goes Trapanios once more.
as Nordahl back to Highlands. And away goes Mulder, beating McNabb for speed, and he's got De Vrint in the middle, and a corner there to Underlecht. Well, a good bit of pressure there from Arsenal. There was this suggestion that Anderlecht were perhaps a little hesitant in the air at the back, but they haven't shown any of it yet. And that really was a good counter-attack by them, and here's the corner. Armstrong to bring it away for Arsenal. Gil under with his head, but only as far as Charlie George. Arsenal beginning to get into their stride a little bit. And Belkaneers took a bit of a knock there as uh, Samuels went roaring through. Desanguer, the number seven. And now Van Hipst. De Vrind beaten by Simpson. And Graham beating his man as well. Kelly to Samuels. Armstrong free on the right, and here he is. Men calling for a high one, and uh, he played it, if anything, a little too soon, Armstrong, and didn't get any height. Mulder to Van Hipst. Oh, and McClintock caught on the wrong foot. Story going in hard on Mulder from the back, and a free kick to Anderlecht. And Powers to take it. Try to get it through to Van Hims, but uh, Simpson there with his head. Mulder challenged by McNabb, leaving it for Nordahl. And now Van Hipst. Mulder. And Nordahl. A nice little chip by Nordahl, and McClintock equal to it. Mulder to head it back. Oh, and a good turn, shot on the turn there by Van Hipst. But Armstrong now for Arsenal. Desanguer, but not past Martin. Story, supported by Kelly and almost muddled by Kelly. Samuels. And Graham to get under this one. A back header towards McNabb. Again, there are signs of anxiety in this uh, Arsenal side as they come forward, desperate to do well. And a throw to Anderlecht. Highlands, another World Cup player going to Mexico with Belgium. Nordahl. Highlands again. Quite a good long throw. Simpson in first. Van Hims to clip it on again. And Wilson for Arsenal. Desanguer. And this should be stories, but the whistle had gone. I can only assume for offside against uh, Mulder. And Frank McClintock with it. Radford winning more and more in the air now. Oh, and Radford there, snatching at it. A bad pass across his own goal by Martins, though. Nordahl. McNabb with a throw for Arsenal. And again. Graham. Radford. Got Charlie George and Armstrong in the middle if he can reach them. There's George. Almost getting that through to Samuels. Now McClintock. Arsenal beginning to pressurise Anderlecht more and more now. Story a high one. George straining to get under it, and Kelly as well. But now it's Van Hims to bring it away. Nordahl, who goes to Mexico with Sweden. 
at number four. Desangel at number seven. And Mulder certainly not finding any space out there on Highbury tonight. Not as much as he found uh, in Brussels last Wednesday. Nordal again. And Mulder straight to uh, George Graham. Graham in turn showing too much of it to Highlands. And a throw to Arsenal. Armstrong. For Story. Kelly. And now McNabb. Slow and it's Nordahl to Van Himst into Nordahl again and now Paus. This is Mulder, really dangerous customer. This Mulder Van Himst with Nordahl supporting him, De Vrindt dumbing over it and McClintock playing it safely back to Bob Wilson. <laughs> Kelly. But a loose ball by Kelly, it didn't mean very much. And Highlands finding Velkineers, Nordahl, into Des Singer. And Arsenal's throw. Nab to Simpson. Still Simpson going on and brought down there by Desenguer. Badly brought down and a free kick for Arsenal. Charlie George trying to capitalise on it by stealing three or four yards. And Mr Kunz, the East German uh, referee, said no. George to John Samuels. And Nordahl for Underlecht. De Vrindt, surely obstructed by Simpson. And so a free kick to uh, Underlecht. Desenguer. Mulder. And now Armstrong to Radford. Attacking Martins and feeding him. Charlie George has gone in and the ball goes off Kielunda for a corner to Arsenal. Which again is the signal for McClintock to come up. There's Samuels waiting for it. Radford in the six-yard area. And Armstrong with the kick. McClintock to Kelly. Made a little space for himself there, Kelly. And a bit more there as well. Oh, no! By Kelly! But Matt Trafford here standing! A very unhappy goalkeeper, Sean Trafford And Eddie Kelly gives Arsenal even more hope. 1-0. Making it on aggregate 3-2 to Anderlecht. with 26 minutes gone at a time when there seem to be many so many white shirts of Anderlecht back there in defence that there will be no way through but Kelly twice made room for himself for a shot and the second one was the one that really counted for Anderlecht and now Anderlecht really are going to need all their European experience Kielunda and Simpson to Grail to George to Story and Samuels 
house, Charlie George. Story, Samuels, and now Graham to George. And George Graham to Redford, but the whistle had gone. And it's a free kick to Arsenal. a position that should cause some concern for Anderlecht. Charlie George is there, John Samuels is there. The wall being pushed back. Charlie George, having cleared that it was a direct free kick for the referee, but hits it straight into the wall. Samuels right up there. And they're really under a bit of pressure now. Kealunda missing his kick there. But Armstrong couldn't quite get in there fast enough. Then he could, though, to beat Powers. Story to Kelly, the man who has really set Highbury going. Armstrong and Charlie George couldn't get to that one because Kealunda was there first. Armstrong tackling back hard, but uh, Van Himst getting away. De Vrindt. Van Himst. And Mulder offside. Story with so much space. And they're getting themselves out of a spot of trouble there very well. And a throw to them now. Young Martins with the throw. And Armstrong beating Martins there. Radford to Kelly. Graham calling for it on the left. Kelly preferring to move it to the right to Story. Now Armstrong. Martins getting a foot there, but Armstrong able to cross it charlie george trying to jump over it gets it back graham but the whistle is gone the whistle is already gone the ball must fractionally have crossed that line when charlie george turned it back the last one at the moment looking full of themselves Kelly and Highlands Norda losing it to Kelly again Kelly's having a fine match in the middle of the field for Arsenal tonight and a free kick I think given to Arsenal there McNabb impeded it probably obstructed as he went through and a sporting gesture there by Highlands putting the ball back for Simpson Lifting another one there. Radford with a back header. George with another back header. And now Samuels, can he turn it back? Kealunda there to cover it. And Paus also there. Armstrong, and it comes off Kealunda. And Kealunda again. George Graham. But played a little too firmly there for John Samuels. So it's Martin, the fullback who was unknown at the start of this season in Belgium, but in fact goes to Mexico with their World Cup squad. Flipped on again, but Radford offside. The linesman with his flag up straight away. Story and De Vrind having quite a battle there. And it's Arsenal's ball. Kelly to McClintock. In turn to McNabb. Graham. And McNabb. Radford in a little bit of space there. Belfineers had uh, straight away from him. 
Gives Radford a chance to turn it in, but Keel under there first. Kelly to Graham. Played back a little deeper there towards Radford. And now Story played it back again. And in goes Charlie George. And the whistle must have gone. But in fact, the corner was given, so it couldn't have gone. And certainly Charlie George was very close indeed to making it number two for Arsenal there. Here's the corner. McClintock looking to get ahead to it. And Martins to get it away. Kelly to Armstrong again. A good deep one, and in goes Radford for it. And McClintock is right there. Charlie George getting up to it. Back a half a minute now to go to half time. As Trafaneers, having been under great pressure, takes this kick for Anderlecht. Simpson. And the whistle, in fact, goes there for half-time. And not at all a bad first half for Arsenal. So Arsenal then kick off for the start of the second half. And notice that Frank McClintock came on first and waved to the crowd, saying, we want even more support from you in this second half. Well, they've certainly had plenty of support, Arsenal, in the first half in their efforts to make it three years running for an English side to win the Fairs Cup. Remember, in 1968, it was Leeds. Last season, it was Newcastle. This season, Arsenal hope it'll be there. One nil up, remember. Three two down on aggregate to Adelaide. Feel story then. And certainly, this crowd is so much behind Arsenal now. Simpson getting into trouble. De Vrindt. And down goes Wilson. That really was a bad mistake there by Simpson that might well have cost Arsenal so dear. Belkineers. Van Heepst. And McNabb beating Mulder. Back to Bob Wilson. Nordahl to Van Himst. Still Van Himst. De Vrindt. And Graham getting himself into a bit of trouble as well. McClintock and now McNabb. Peter Story for Arsenal. Charlie George to George Armstrong. Graham. This will be Highlands. But the path back to Trapaneers was cut off. Desenguer. And Nordahl, a long one. Van Himst. McNabb tackling back quickly. Simpson pouncing on the loose ball. Belkineers. Mulder to De Vrindt. And two Arsenal men this time to stop him. Kelly. Highlands to head that one away, but only as far as George. Now Armstrong. Graham. Story. And Samuels over on the right. Not enough power from Samuels there, but it comes through to Graham from Nordahl. So another chance for Samuels. And he hasn't really done very much with that one either. Van Himst to Mulder. George Graham tackling him back, and Simpson also there. And McClintock for Arsenal. Samuels to Graham. And now to Armstrong. Two under the players there getting in each other's way. Desenguer and Nordahl. And it's Kilunda to uh, get it away. Nordahl. And Mulder. 
still Mulder, the most dangerous man they've got to watch. Noldal stepping over to Brind, a great chance for Anderlecht here, straight at Wilson. So Radford to bring it away. And that really was a crisis point for Arsenal, Radford. Vilkaneers there going in hard and Highland supporting him. And now Vilkaneers to Nordahl. Van Hibbs trying to fasten onto this one, but Wilson quickly off his line. Keolunda back to Trapaneers. Lindock to Savills and now to Armstrong oh Armstrong neatly past Martins and a good cross there Radford to Graham and a throw to Arsenal McNabb and Radford. And this will go straight for McClintock. Kelly trying to go in. Keolunda getting it away for Anderlecht as far as Nordahl and Nordahl to Dizengere. Paus. Mulder making a run down the left. The linesman's got his flag up though. And the whistle gone for offside against Mulder. Bob McNabb. George. Tried to flick that one on, but uh, Keir London was in. I can't think what the infringement was there, whether Charlie George was offside. He didn't look it, and certainly that wouldn't have been the position. But the free kick to Anderlecht. Simpson taking no chances against Mulder. De Vrindt to Mulder. And now Kelly to Radford, to George Graham. Kelly. And a throw to Anderlecht. This is Highlands, George Highlands. Time it's Mulder with it. Desanger beating George Graham in the tackle. Still Desanger. Back to Paus. And now to Martins. Nordau. Desanger van Hipst. This is for Highlands. Fair bit of space there, but uh, not a very good one. Story to Armstrong. And a throw given to Anderlecht. and of rent good understanding the game for the moment lost a bit of its fire Mulder to Desanger and a goal kick to Arsenal 
Eight minutes of the second half gone. And Arsenal still one goal to nil in the lead tonight. 3-2 down on Aggregate. Paus. To Martens. Another throw to Anderlecht. Martins. And Mulder with McClintock going in pretty hard at the back on him. Martins again. A little cross there which uh, Simpson gets to story. Now Wilson. Nordahl losing it to Graham and trying might and main to get it back. George Graham to Bob McNabb right up. Can he turn it back? A good cross there from McNabb. who must have gone off for a little bit of treatment there, desperately wants to get back, but the referee won't uh, catch his eye at all. And so Arsenal for the moment with ten men. Nordahl to Paus. And the ball goes into touch, and when it's out of play, the referee says Charlie George can come back on. In fact, the referee for a moment, I think, thought he was a sub who made him turn his back to it, but it's unmistakably Charlie George. Van Himst, Mulder. Oh, a nasty looking one there for Arsenal, but uh, De Vrindt, followed out by McClintock and Storey. And Arsenal now with 10 minutes to survive. Armstrong to Samuels. 
Samuel's a long one, Charlie George off in chase. Velkaneers going with him, and Velkaneers to give away the corner. Armstrong with the corner. Radford getting ahead to it, stopped on the line by Trappaneers and kicked away by Highlands. And that was out of play as well. But go on, says the uh, linesman, McNabb. Now Paus to Van Himst. Arsenal still know that if they concede one goal, they're going to be forced into extra time because it'll be uh, a 3-1 defeat for Arsenal in uh, Anderlecht and a 3-1 defeat for Anderlecht back here, which would make them all square. Highlands. So really, Arsenal must not concede a goal. Here's Nordahl. Mulder's trying to get to this one. Oh, stabbed away there well by Simpson as well. He got a foot to it. Nordahl to follow it in. Every Arsenal man bar Charlie George now back. Highlands. Now Kiolunda. Mulder. Tackled hard there by uh, Kelly. But now Highlands. McClintock to get onto this one and head it away. But only as far as Van Heemst. And McClintock looking to get to that one. And a chance here for Anderlecht. And he couldn't quite connect there with the overhead kick. Could Nordahl. On my watch, seven minutes now to go. George with a backhander for Radford. George beaten away well there by Kiolunda. Nordahl right back. Arsenal 3-0 ahead, 4-3 up on aggregate. And De Vrindt, watched by Simpson. And McNabb, back to Wilson. Armstrong, plucky to the last. Charlie George going in. And the ball finding its way back to Trappaneers. Highlands to Nordahl. Nordahl a long searching ball looking for some magic from Mulder. De Vrindt, Mulder. And a good work there, but it goes over the line. And it's going to be a goal kick. referee in fact looking at his watch and he can see as I can see that there are two minutes left we've won the cup chant the Arsenal fans but uh, they need to wait another two minutes yet at least Charlie George to Armstrong Story calling for one that'll eat up a few more seconds down the right, but a bad one there by Armstrong, and Powers to take it up. Armstrong fighting to get back with him, and McClintock getting a foot there first. And McClintock a long one forward for Radford to go, and Trappaneers up into the roof of the stand almost in the second tier. to Arsenal On my watch now we're coming to the last minute Radford eating up a few more seconds another throw to Arsenal a club a great club that has waited so long for a triumph 1953 was the last time they won anything and now they're within a minute of winning a European competition Kiolunda. But they've still got to hold out. And McClintock chased by Van Heemst. And Wilson gathering that ball on the slippery surface. 
taking his time. Nothing more than a few seconds left now. And it's all over! The first cup has been won by Arsenal. Three years running by an English club. First Leeds, then Newcastle, and now Arsenal.